In this session, we are going to create the routing for login, register and the home pages. And also we are including different services and also guards and interfaces required for this one. So let's get started. The previously I have displayed the hello world in the upload component.html. The next is we are going to create the required components. So in order to create a login components inside the app folder, I am going to use the Angular CLI. So if you want to create a new component, you can use ng g4 generate c4 component and I am going to create a login component inside the components folder. So I am giving components slash login. So it will create a folder inside the app and again it will create a login folder inside the components you can see here. Next I am going to create a register component so ng g4 generate c4 component and I am going to create a components folder it's already created so it will create a new folder called register inside the components. So you can see now two components okay the next component is home component the same procedure ng g4 generate c4 component then inside the components folder that's a home so it will create another home folder with all the component and css files and also it is updating everything in the app.module.ts file you can see here the login component, register component and home component is automatically added while we are using uh, this Angular CLA for generating the components. Okay. So our next step is we have to uh, create services file, right? So for that I am going to generate service files using Angular CLA that is ng g4 generate s4 services and you can mention the folder. So I am going to create inside the services folder i'm going to create a service file so that is auth.service.ts so just mention auth then it will create a file named auth.service.ts okay see service folder is created so component service folder and auth service.ts file and the spec file is generated similar way we are also uh, since we are using the login form and the register form and the home page we have to use the guards okay so i am going to create using angular cla so ng g4 generate g4 guards and i am going to create a folder guards and inside again i am creating auth guards okay so just giving a name auth then automatically it will create the files for that so it is asking which guard you have to uh, activate so uh, for normally login we are using the can activate guard so i am adding can activate sorry enter here so it will create auth.guard.spec file and auth.guard.ts file inside the guards folder okay next is i am going to create interfaces so we are using the typescript so in order to use the login and the component form sometimes we have to declare the structure of the object or you know uh, structure of the variable or object so for that i am going to create an interface so for that ng g4 generate i4 interface and interfaces folder i am creating and inside that auth so if you create a services guards or interfaces if you mention auth that means it will create for example if it is an interface it will create auth.ts file if it is guards it will create auth.guard.ts file if it is service it will be auth.service.ts file but in the component you can mention the folder then automatically it will create the component ts css um, you know unit test cases everything so if you create in the phases slash auth, you can here see auth.ts file will get generated with export interface auth. Okay. 
So our component guard services and interfaces is created. Our next step is while user enters slash login in the browser, you have to navigate to the login component. When you slash a uh, user enters slash register, you have to go to register and the similar way the home component as well. Okay. So for that, once all the folder structure has been created, you can go to routing module.ts file. So here you can see a roots array in that we will mention an object. Okay. So I will tell uh, if the user enter the path login, then I have to navigate to the login component which we have now created. Okay, login component. So this is one object. Similar way, you have to mention if the path is register, then you have to load register component. Okay, then if the path is home, then you have to re load the home component. And if user, and also we are telling if the user types, for example, uh, if it loads on local ho local host 4200, if user is not typing login, register or home after the slash to which URL we have to navigate. So path, if the path is empty, then by default we are telling we are redirecting to the home URL and we are matching the path as a full. The similar way, sorry, it should be in a string. In the similar way, you can also mention if the path is, you know, star star, that means something else other than login, register or home, you should have to load the, you know, the no data found or no page found component. So I'm not creating that it for now. I'm just uh, going with this parts and the components. So this is done. So we are telling everything. Uh, if your user enters this path, you have to load this component, right? Then where we load this component is the next question. For that, you can go to app.component.html. Maybe you have a header in your application. Now I'm not creating any, any header. So I'm telling whatever the login component, register component, home component based on the URL user enters. I have to load all this component inside this div. Okay. So for that, you can give router outlet. If you are giving router outlet here, if user enters login in the browser, the login component will get replaced here. Okay. If the user enter home, the home component will get replaced here. Okay. This is how the router outlets and the components getting loaded automatically here. Now let's start, we can check all the components and the routing is working fi fine or not, okay. So by default, when you create a home component, you can see there is a tag just simply saying home works, the similar way login works and register work, okay. So I already running my application here and go to the browser and you can see if I type home, the home works right so why it is automatically redirected to home initially it was like 4200 and we are also mentioning in the routing file we are mentioning routing file if the path is empty redirect to home right so if nothing is entered here automatically it navigates the home url okay then we will tell if user enters a login URL, then login works. That means login component is getting loaded there. So if user enters register, then register components loads here. So if you have any common things, you know, some navbar, something like that, 
it will be loaded for all the components because here only the login component home component you know all the components is getting um, loaded so for example for your information i'm just showing a some navbar something like that see it will always it will be there see login works but this section will be always there just for your information so this is how we load the uh, routing okay routing for different component